What's up, my friends? Welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Here we are with Aridin, Alistair, Devron, and freaking Sten. And we're about to go outside and, I guess, um, try to save this damn village. I'm pretty sure we're about done with everything here. I know we at least need to go up and check in with this Sir Perth guy. And then see if he has anything. But other than that, I think we're pretty much ready to, uh... Go ahead and start the story here. We got as much people as we can to fight. Big old Lloyd and we got the Dwin character down there as well. And then we got this damn dubious elf to uh, fight as well. So that's cool. And I'm thinking about not actually using the, uh, what is it called? The um, fire stuff. Because last time we used the fire stuff, or at least every time I use the fire stuff, man, it ends up freaking killing my whole party. So... Probably not even going to tell him about that. It's like no point. Anyways, let's go ahead and get out. Though, I think I want to change my party. Yeah, thinking about changing my party. So let's do... Braska. Let's get different people in here. Fashiden. Den's pretty much done. Alistair. Yes. Let's get Shale. Yes. And Wynn. I think that will work for now. And then eventually I'm probably going to get Shale out. We need as much damage as possible. I would like to do Alistair, but I'm thinking maybe Zevron. On it. Yes, what can I do for you? Yeah, I have a letter for you, man. You've been recruited. You got yourself a job. I knew this time would come. I should have listened to my wife. Don't sign that paper, she said. They might pay you a few sovereigns now, but they'll be back. Blast. I'll see you on the front lines, I suppose. Sure. Why don't you go defend the goddamn village, pal? Damn it, we don't have a rogue in the party. Son of a gun. It speaks. Get out the way, you big goon. Let me put somebody in the party here. You know, I need to get... Let me get her out. Let's get... Let's get Zevron in because I need to get his stuff off of him. For me, anyway. Easy enough. I mean, do you think Zevron would be better than Alistair? Alistair has another taunt, which could be more useful than Zevron. We'll do Alistair. Yeah, we'll do Alistair. Let me get this stuff off Zevron a while. So we have it on ourself. Which one did he have on him? Here. I have an heirloom necklace, pal. Probably good. Alright, let's go up here and talk to um, her. So you have all over your back. They're called tattoos, and I have them in many more places than just on my back, my friend. Uh, right. I hear that someone gets those by having needles put the ink under your skin. A great many needles, amongst other things, yes. That would be true. Didn't that hurt? Oh, yes, yes. But it is not so bad, in truth. If you like, I could give you one. I learned a bit of the art myself in Antiva. Oh, no. No, I don't think so. Come, um, it will just be a small one. Perhaps uh, the symbol of the Grey Wardens. Something manly. Where are my needles? Um, maybe some other time. I'm I'm going to go stand over here now. <laughs> you know, as much as I've played this game, I don't think I've ever heard that dialogue. One of these days, I really just need to just keep running across bridges here and there. And hearing their damn dialogue, man. Because I'm telling you, I don't think I've even... And I've been playing this game for years, off and on, and I don't think I've ever heard a all the damn dialogue. The castle? No, all is still, as it has been for days. And it is an unnatural stillness, as though there is naught in there but death. Say no more. The Arl lives, and I will not listen to your inauspicious chatter. Calm down, pal. Sir freaking Perth. Let's go ahead and talk to him. I mean... 
of like coming Goodness. home again, but with more undead. Right? There is stuff in here. Hold on. Because I don't really know who I'm taking in. Alright, so there's a love letter in here. Alright, I thought it was a freaking uh, a chest. But, so be it. I was going to say, if there's a chest in here to unlock for that letter, I don't know who I'm taking into the uh, Red Cliff. Anyways, let's talk to Perth and then get this damn shit started. Shit show. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Bantigan is to see you here. I must admit, I do not know how to address an elf in your position. I do not wish to be rude. I guess just call me Grey Warden, for that's what I am. Grey Warden it is, then. And thank you kindly. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now, my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle. Or perhaps I would be dead. Ah, well. With a Grey Warden aiding our defense, perhaps all is not lost. Have you considered using the oil sea? I'm not- I don't think I'm gonna say this. Every time I have done this with the oil, I have never not done it with the oil, so this is gonna be the first time I'm not doing it with the oil. You mentioned something about an urn. When the Isle fell sick, we were at a loss. Nothing worked to cure him, and he just kept getting worse. Finally, our lesser Isold came up with a plan. The urn of sacred ashes is a legendary artifact set to hold great healing powers. If found, it might save him. They say the followers of Andraste smuggled her ashes out of Tevinter and hid them in Ferelden. The urn's never been heard of since. We knights volunteered to seek it out. Few of us have returned. Many are still out there, unaware of what is happening here. Just what was the oral sick with then? We were never certain. He thirsted for water and then grew weaker and weaker. He brought in a mage, but even that did nothing. The Alessa believed he was cursed and that we needed the power of Andraste herself or he would surely perish. Why did she believe anyone could find the urn then if it's a myth? The Al once employed a scholar, Brother Genetivi. He had proof the urn was in Ferelden, or so I was told. Can no one find the other knights and bring them back? Eventually, perhaps. The ones I have here were those near enough to recall within the last few days. I only returned myself because I was passing by Redcliffe and heard the news of strange attacks. So the knights left the damn castle defenseless then? Not at all. A great number of soldiers remained in Castle Redcliffe. I wonder if they perished there and were transformed into these... things. The thought chills my blood. Well, they're probably the ones freaking running down the bridge to your damn village and assaulting you every night. As you wish. Let me ask you some questions, man. Ask me whatever you wish. Well, we already know about supplies. Tell me what happened here. You know about as much as I do. I returned a day before the attacks began, having heard strange rumors about the abandoned castle. I was the only knight to survive the first attack. Since then, I found others returning from the Arlesa's quest. Until we get to the source of this evil, though, I do not think it will stop. And I don't believe we will be enough. As you wish. Is there anything I can do to help you? We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. Well, I guess I'll see what I can do about this holy damn amulet. That gladdens my heart to hear it. Anything else you need? No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. All right, well, carry on, friend. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. Sure. All right, let's go down here and... Give this lady the amulets. I don't even know what that does. Anybody know what it does? Does it, like, buff them? The knights? Maybe 
buff their stats a little bit, make them a bit stronger and sturdier, I guess. I, I have no idea. But outside of that, roleplay purposes, um... I already told you guys I'm not really going to shun the maker that much fully, but, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Well, I guess go to her, huh? Bevan said you were the one who found him. I can't possibly repay you. Bevan told me about Grandfather's sword. So you have it, then? I suppose it won't go to waste, at least. I'll return it after the battle. It belongs to your family. Use it well. If we survive, I'll gladly take it back. Thank you again for Bevin. With my mother gone... Well, I'm just glad he's safe. I can't thank you enough. Just stay safe, both of you. The Maker sent you. I just know it. Thank you again. He sure did. He sent me right here to freaking get your sword back to you. Anyways, let's go ahead and... I guess do this blasphemy stuff. I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about it. Even the RP purposes, I guess. Because we believe in the creators and such. And we, you know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like I want to mock them and say, your maker's not there because we don't know. Anyways, let's just do it. What is it you need, child? Three barrels of beer, please. Sir Perth needs holy goddamn protection for his knights. I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. Well, can't you just bless them or something? I don't know, man. I can pray with them and give them my blessing. But Sir Perth wants me to call upon the Maker to shield them from evil. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. Yes. Oh my god, we can intimidate her. <laughs> you will help them because I tell you, and do it quickly, old woman. You, you dare threaten me to lie to these poor men? To tell them the Maker protects them when he does not. Very well. Though I loathe doing this, you leave me no option. I have a number of silver-cast holy symbols. Tell Sir Perth that he can have them, and that wearing them will confer the Maker's protection. Now please, let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can, and I suggest you do the same. All right, you better pipe down a bit there, scum, or I'll put the goddamn sword and shield on you and throw you out there in battle. Let's get the hell out of here. I had enough of this damn chantry. I don't know, friends. I guess that was the right thing to do. Who Watch. knows, man? Freaking bless these damn amulets and then give them to them. Hopefully it buffs their stats and they won't be a bunch of bees and die. Because I am not reloading. I'm telling you, if people die, they freaking die. It's just war, huh? I'm going to try to save as much people as I can, as I can though. Honestly. If I can. Hey, pal. Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. Damn right they are. You said you wanted holy protection? Here you go. Have you spoken to the revered mother? Has she offered anything? Hell yeah. You bless these uh, holy amulets. What they uh, these do? If they are the same as the symbols worn by their priests, well, that would more than suffice. You know, they're not even magical, though, man. I do not approve of majory and such, but the symbols of the chantry are holy and blessed by the Maker, not the work of mages. I will send some men to collect the amulets. Please give my regards to Mother Hannah for seeing some sense at last. Uh, sure. Carry on. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. I do not believe in major he says. Alrighty, friends. Well, see you later, Zev. Braska. Let's do Indeed. Morgan. Horse feathers. Horse feathers. Let's do Win and Alistair. What do you think, Alistair? We have a taunt on Alistair, which is. Does he have a taunt? 
He's got to. Yeah, he has a backup taunt. Let's just do him. I think... I think that's the way to go. Let's just, let's get on with it. Mother Hannah's amulets have greatly bolstered my men's confidence. You couldn't have armed us with any better than our faith in the Maker. Sure. Hey, you need anything else, man? No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the Mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. As you wish, Grey Warden. Come on, man. Start this crap. Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. What's your status, man? I distributed Mother Hannah's amulets to the other knights. It is encouraging to think the Maker watches over us in our hour of need. Overall, my fellow knights are nervous about the coming battle. Death is almost certain. But we will fight and die valiantly if that's what the Maker demands. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. How the hell do we start this? The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. Oh, we have to use the oil? Because we can't... As you it won't let us start it without the oil. The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. Damn it. No one told me of this. Oil, you say? How much exactly? Never mind, it's probably a bad idea. <sighs> You're probably right. Setting these creatures aflame might hurt us more than them, after all. Hell yeah. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. Where are we supposed to go? Am I doing something wrong here? I thought I always remembered... Oh, we didn't tell him about the... Oh man, good thing we didn't start that stuff. Because I don't think we told the mayor about any of the people that we recruited. Hey, pal. I hear you got the tavern serving the militia free ale now. While I don't favor my men being drunk come sundown, I suppose it helps morale to have their minds taken off what's to come. You have my thanks. Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll inform Bantig and the militia is ready to fight. We'll give those bastards a welcome they won't soon forget. Hell yeah. We're not only ready, Murdoch, we're going to win, man. I hope you're right. We may just be village folk, but we're going to fight like there's no tomorrow. The men's spirits are high for now. Far better than I expected, to be honest. Dwin's presence makes the men a bit more confident. It helps to know a veteran is on our side tonight. My men are getting free drinks at the tavern. I suppose it's better to drown your fears rather than go mad waiting for certain death. I'm tempted to have a few ales myself. Since you convinced Owen to start repairs, we're pretty well armed now. That is a relief, let me tell you. Overall, I'd say the militia's very ready to fight. Never thought I'd say that, but there you go. Is there anything else? Um, I'll be back. I have a good feeling about tonight. We'll go up to the other fella. I can't believe I'm going to fight. That's what I get for mixing myself up in all this. Hell yeah, you're gonna fight? Where's Lloyd at? There you are, Lloyd. Well, I'm here. I'm cold. I'm certainly gonna die. <laughs> he is gonna die, man. There's like no, no, there's saving Lloyd is so hard, man. The best thing we can do is when we run down this hill, is force field his ass, and that's it. But I think Lloyd might be a casualty this time, friends. We'll see. Lloyd is Lloyd is the number one priority. Let the villagers die. As long as we keep Lloyd alive, we're good. The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. Hell yeah, let's make our stand here, man. There is still time before the sun goes down. If you have not yet spoken to Murdoch, or if there is anything you have planned... Just get on with it. I'm ready for nightfall, man. Let's do this. Good luck to you then, and may the Maker watch over us all. Are you ready for this? Probably not. But we're getting thrown right into the mix anyway, friends. The things we do to save for Rodin, huh?
They're coming! Get to your positions! Make ready! Hell yeah, baby. Time for some freaking exercise, friends. Come on, you little scumbags. Is that all you got? Let's get started. Alright, we got a big taunt on board here. Get Morgan up here. What does she got here? What's this one? Let's see, they're already like running off of us. It's so crazy. Win. Probably on win. So let's paralyze this one. No. Alistair, where are you going, pal? You don't want them to come anywhere. Let's see, what can Wind do? See, this is why we don't do the fires, because we all be, we will be standing right in this stuff. And it would probably be a bad idea. How's everyone? Oh, Morgan's not doing good. Not paying attention here. We're gonna have to get her up when. Oh, um, let's take a mana potion. Who's back there? Let's hit this one with Crushing Prison, why not? Waking Nightmare. Erd is doing good back here. We're hurting on stamina though. We have a fellow going over here. What can you do, Win? Paralyze him. And we got another guy over here. Morgan's getting jacked the hell up again. Can anyone taunt? This is where a sword and shield will come in handy. He has nothing left. Morgan's about dead again. Oh man, she's screwed. That was close, man. Morgan's taking a lot of aggro because I, I can't really taunt. We don't have enough energy. Every time I move from him, he uses an ability. Best thing I can do is... Here. There we go. Stay on him and lock down the energy usage. Take a mana potion with win. This is rough, friends. What can Alistair do? Nothing. I don't want to push him back and get the knights in the mix. How much mana potions do we have in our inventory? We have a bunch of lessers as well. So hold on, Morgan. Take this. Some lessers on board. Let's look at health poultices as well. Go ahead and use one of them for win. Bruce is about done for. But he is taking good bit of aggro, which is not bad.
Morgan's almost dead again. You never had it. Holy yeah. shit, friends. Let's go ahead and take another mana with win. The monsters are attacking from the lake. They're attacking the barricades. We need help. Stay here and guard the path. Knight, I'm going down. I'm going to save Lord. Come on, we need to hurry. I want to save my man, Lloyd. Hold on, let's get on Morgan. See if we can get down here fast enough to uh, force field old Lloyd. Can you run any slower? Is that him? Looking for a fat body. Lloyd! Is that you, Lloyd, in force field? Yeah, buddy! <laughs> we got you, Lloyd. Don't you worry, pal. I wish Lloyd was up top and not down here. I think they're all beating on him. Get back to Morgan. Let's go ahead and heal Lloyd. Murdoch's almost dead too. Holy moly. Get back to win. Heal Murdoch. This militia guy is about dead. Holy moly, friends. We may have... Let's see if we can get back to Morgan and heal that guy. Lloyd's back up and about. This guy has got nothing. Look at his health, man. Get on win. Kill that militia guy. Look at Lloyd in the mix. He don't even care. Oh man, Lloyd. I'm looking at everyone's health here to make sure everyone's good. We can get back to Aridin. And then we can taunt again. Get back to Wynn. She can probably heal this guy as well. Look at this guy. He's definitely going to take aggro. So let's on this guy. Look at Lloyd. Chase him down, Lloyd. Get him. Stay on our healers. Let's look at everyone's health. I feel like everyone's doing... There's a militia guy over here that's almost dead. Let's go ahead and heal him. I'm telling you, two healers is the way to go, friends. It's probably the best way to go. These militia guys, militia guys are pretty strong as it is. Let's get back to Morgan. Which one can we heal? Let's heal this one. Get over to Alistair. Go ahead and taunt. How's Lloyd doing? Where the hell is Lloyd at? And he's in the mix. Hell yeah, Lloyd. He's actually taking aggro. There's a guy up there. I'm gonna go after that one, so let's go ahead and heal this guy. We need to get him... Where's Morgan? Russian prison, this guy. He resisted it. Oh my word, friends. Getting a crush in prison resisted is... Hurts my backside a bit. Thomas is there. Cool. Let me get on Aaron in here and taunt. He's going over here, which is not very good. Oh, he's coming this way. That's fine. Go and take some mana. Everyone's health looking good. Well, Morgan seems to be the worst off here. Actually, this militia guy. Let's go ahead and force field him. Hit him with a heal. Everyone else is looking good. 
Take a potion with Morgan. More guys coming over here. Shit. They're coming everywhere, friends. See if we can... See, that guy's by himself up there just chilling. Everyone's still looking decent. Got a guy back there, Aridin. Look at him just chasing people around. He's done for. That one's almost done. Where's Lloyd at? There you are, Lloyd. Look at him in the mix with his baby dagger. I don't know what he's got going on there. Alistair's over here with a bunch of people. Very good. Wynn needs more mana. Morgan needs more mana. Go ahead and stun this guy. Heal this one. Everyone else is looking good. See if we can go about stunning all these people here. Murdoch's still good. How you doing, Win? Let's go ahead and heal Murdoch. We got guys up there, Aridin. I don't need you to taunt, big guy. Man, they just keep coming, friends. Eat freaking that, pal. I haven't been using abilities because I'm trying to keep his taunt on board. Get back to win. See if we can stun these guys. Freaking Lloyd. I'm gonna force field Lloyd. What's up, Brucey? Look at him back there. Get over to Alistair. Where is this freaking guy going? Just randomly aggroed on some guy. I think we did it, friends. I don't know. I don't know if we got everyone. Dawn arrives, my friends, and all of us remain. We are victorious. And it is these good folk you see beside me that we have to thank for our lives today. Without their heroism, surely we would all have perished. I bow to you, sir. The Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. Allow me to offer you this, the helm of Sir Ferris the Red, my great uncle and hero of Ferelden. He would approve passing it to one so worthy. Um, this helmet is a pile of crap helmet, so, you know, I don't need it. You might as well keep it for yourself, pal. Nonsense, good sir. I am glad to part with it. I insist. Take it, then, and use it in good health. Let us bow our heads and give honor to those who gave their lives in defense of Redcliffe. Now they walk with he who is their maker. Long may they know the peace of his love. Thinking about just remaining silent on this, yeah? With the Maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Now we've no time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. Well, I won't lie, man. That was actually very freaking fun, man. I have really enjoyed that. I know it was um, not necessary to save them people. It really doesn't matter. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter to the playthrough, but to me it matters. I like saving them, man. I like doing as much as I can for the people, you know? And it was freaking fun to uh, at least try to save all them people. I had a blast doing that. All right, what else can we use right now? We can use Critical Strike. 
don't really want to. Let's use this. Let's get this. Death blow. Each time the warrior fells an enemy, the end of battle seems closer at hand. We're storing a portion of warrior stamina. Yes, please. That is going to be great. Um, before we head out, let's talk to anyone we can. I'm still amazed we made it through the night in one piece and one. They'll be telling stories about this for years, I bet. Fighting's not over. We still have Darkspawn to battle, and if the Arl sends out the call, I'll be there for him. I could use a good commander myself. You did pretty good out there, man. No offense, but I've lived under the Arl my whole life. I'll fight when he calls me, or when I absolutely need to, and that's it. If you'll excuse me, I think I'll offer the Maker a bit of thanks for not choosing to be a wrathful god today. Good luck to you. Well, I'm sure Lloyd will give away free beer now that he's still alive, somehow. Freaking Lloyd, man. We survived! I thought we were goners for sure. What luck you came when you did! Van Tegan or Al Eamon will be calling for volunteers soon, won't they? They'll need an army to fight in the south now. I'll go when they call me, I guess. I'm going to get drunk first, though. If you Hell yeah, me. man. Hell yes, friend. Go get damn drunk, because that's what the hell I would do. Alright, friends, I'm going to save here, and when we head out, and uh, head out, and when we get back, um, I'm probably going to go up top and talk to Tegan and just start that up immediately i mean it's no point in not starting it i was thinking about breaking it up maybe and doing the sacred ashes one first but um i don't think i will i think i'll just go ahead and finish all of red cliff first and then after red cliff i know i'm going to be heading to orzammar i think because i like to pick up our dwarven companion before i actually do the sacred ashes one because he has some amazing dialogue inside the uh, sacred ashes stuff it makes you really think, especially for what's coming in Inquisition. But anyways, friends, I'm out of here. Until next time, take it easy out there. Stay safe.